I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do all the highlights on that highlight layer. So let me choose this and do that. Okay, and also these these uh, these arms. So I have to. Do I want to merge these? I don't know if I want to merge them yet. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just merge them. I don't have time. I don't have time for all that nonsense. So I'm going to use the eraser, and I'm going to. I'm going to try to blend them in. By erasing. I also want to I also want to erase away some of this line line work uh, where I don't really need it because I really I, re I want to make it look like it's part of you know I want to if I want to blend it in then I don't really need that outline layer too much let me erase this a little bit here. Just make it lighter and a bit co more cohesive. Don't really need that, that line here. Oh, I'll leave it. Okay. Lower the opacity on that. I wonder if I can alpha lock this and then blur it. No, I guess it won't really blur, will it? What if I select the circles and then I go here and then I do blur? Uh, let me try that again. It doesn't really blur. Interesting. Oh, let me take this one off alpha lock. I think that's what it was, because I had that layer on alpha lock. Yeah, I'll give it a little blur. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so, so far so good. So the light is going to be hitting... Let me get rid of this. Oh, let me do the highlights first. Let's throw some highlights on them. So I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm just going to use white. Opacity way up. Highlight there. Highlight there. Highlight there. So for his highlight, maybe even just maybe even just all the way down. Now that looks weird. I feel like he just needs like a. I make it in the middle here. Oh, that's actually not bad. Try this. Uh, 
Um, I think I like that one. I think I dig that. Uh, another thing I want to do is kind of I want to dither these a little bit. So let me just let me try to just dither these. Just erase them a little bit. This one's a little harsh. So I want to just like soften them up a little bit. Okay, so now let's add some more pops of light. So, there's something here. Maybe you have something here. Okay, that's nice. Just showing some some nice little like light reflections off of our guy here. Maybe a little bit of excuse me. Let's make this a little darker. The inside of his mouth. Like that. And how about, let's even, uh, let's take this part, we'll alpha lock that, and we'll take, and we'll just lighten it up a little bit. We'll lighten it up a little bit. I'll use the airbrush. Just lighten it up a little bit here. And we'll actually darken it right underneath. Just to give it that like, to make it look like there's some shadows in there. Now, the only problem is that that really makes this line pop out. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna match this line to this. That's the only issues with with sometimes with the outlines, is they can get in the way at times. Make it a little darker, because I feel like you kind of want to see this line a little bit. A little darker. There we go. That's nice. Okay, so now I want to use the body, mm. I'm going to use the body and I'm going to make a new layer here and I'm going to change that to add. Because I really want to add like a, a nice, let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, first of all, let me, these white things look weird, so let me get rid of those, make them clear. Okay, so they're clear, and I guess I should change the color of this, uh, of these lines. I don't know what color to make them. Uh, maybe I'll just keep them black for now. Let's go back to our add layer. And let's see what we can do with this guy.
Okay, so I want it to look like the light is hitting here and coming through. Um, oh, one thing I want to do is erase some of this outer black edge. I'm just going to erase some of that. That's another new thing that I sort of picked up. So this is going to help. This is going to help sort of round him off. Because right now that that is very dark back there. And I, I like the darkness, but if you erase, it sort of lighten lighten him up a little bit. Poor cat. I gotta go feed the cat. You guys want to see the cat? I can go. I can go feed. I can go feed the poor thing. I shouldn't say poor thing. They get they get treated really nicely, really good. Uh, let me edit some of this. Uh... Okay, that's all there. So let me just erase a little bit more of that. Okay, that looks good. Um, so I'd like to... Uh, I think that looks good for now. I kind of want to make this, I kind of want to... So I'm going to select this, I'm going to make a new layer. And I just want to make this darker down here. So I'm just going to sort of shade into that a little bit. Maybe I want to make the outer part a little bit darker. Okay. It's not bad. Let me go ahead and merge that. That way now it's 100% opacity. And I'm going to select the body. And I'm just going to make sure this doesn't look better if it's blurred a little bit. I kind of, I think I like it better. Mm. What do we think? I'll leave it. I don't think it needs to be blurred. That's fine. I'm going to erase a little bit more of this black because it's very... Actually, I might just... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to erase a little bit more of it, I think. But I'm going to erase a little bit more on this side. And maybe I'll even put a little bit more of this... A little bit more of this... Uh, Lighten up his face a little bit, and, his, and I also want to lighten up his. Uh, I don't have anything selected, do I? Inside his little hands. Even inside his little fingers. And all this is just to kind of give just to sort of give everything its own little um, bounces of light. as though the light's coming from behind and it's sort of doing the same thing to to everything.
Okay. I think that looks pretty nice. Oh no, I should have, uh, I went outside of his. You know what, I'll just erase it. Whoops, I must have touched the screen. You know what, I'm going to do a light pass underneath there too. So let me select the body so I don't go outside of the body. I'll go back up to our add layer and just sort of, I know I'm going to use, I'm going to use Sketchmaster too. Just to sort of give them some Kind of a more uh, jelly like texture. Okay. And it might be actually nice to do a little bit of, let's see, sometimes you can just sort of. experiment and give them a little more personality okay let me move this old guy back a little bit all right I think that looks pretty cool so the next thing we want to do is um, we want to make a shadow for him, so I'm going to try to just use the use the body. Mm -hmm.